broad with two rows of spines down its back. The spines may have been attached to one another by skin, creating the appearance of a huge sail on its back. A margosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and large appetites. While a margosaurus looked like other sauropods with its long neck and small head, it was very unique. It had two rows of tall spines down its neck and back. Amargosaurus was a... Scientists believe the spines on an Amargosaurus could have helped defend against predators, communicate with other Amargosaurus, or control body temperature. Limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus had a rounded crest made of thin bone attached to its snout. Scientists believe the crest was likely used to show off. Brachiosaurus, like other plant-eating animals, had... Like other plant-eating animals, had broad teeth that would have been great for stripping vegetation off trees. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in both North America and Africa. This enormous sauropod was very slow moving, slower than any carnivore of its time. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy. But during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurs had an odd bony crest on its head that looked like a funny hairdo. Scientists nicknamed this dinosaur Elvisaurus because its furrowed crest resembled the hairdo of Elvis Presley. Cryolophosaurus was a large meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic time period. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur that grew up to 25 feet long. It probably walked on its hind legs, had small forearms, and might have resembled Allosaurus. Despletosaurus lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period. It is closely related to its much larger cousin, Tyrannosaurus. Despletosaurus means frightful lizard. This huge carnivore grew to a length of 26 to 30 feet. With its massive skull and rows of sharp... Despletosaurus lived in North... Despletosaurus was a meat-eating tyrannosaur. Like T-Rex, it too was the top predator of its time, though it lived long before Tyrannosaurus rex. Recent research shows that Despletosaurus and other Tyrannosaurs grew quite slowly when small, then went through a major growth spurt in their teen years. Eoraptor lived during the Triassic period and is one of the oldest known dinosaurs. It belongs to a group of dinosaurs called theropods, which also includes the Tyrannosaurus.
Fossils of Eoraptor have been found in Argentina, making scientists believe that this dinosaur lived over 225 million years ago in the Triassic time period. Eoraptor lived... Eoraptor were about 3 feet tall and weighed about 20 pounds. Standing on their two hind legs and three-toed feet, they were very fast runners, which helped them catch prey. Eoraptor's hands had five digit-like fingers. The three middle digits were the longest and had large claws that were helpful in handling prey. Fabrosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Africa during the Jurassic time period. Fabrosaurus was a small animal, only about three feet long, that moved around on its hind legs. Fabrosaurus was a plant eater, or herbivore. Like many other dinosaur herbivores, Fabrosaurus had a beak up front for grabbing plants and teeth behind for slicing them up. Gallimimus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Gallimimus belongs to a group of theropods called ornithomimids, which look a lot like ostriches living today. Gallimimus. Paleontologists aren't sure what Gallimimus ate. Some think they were herbivores feeding only on plants. Others think they were omnivores eating small animals and plants. Just like ostriches, Gallimimus were fast runners. Hadrosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Growing to about 30 feet long, Hadrosaurus was a giant. It may have walked on four legs when moving slowly and two legs when going faster. Hadrosaur Hadrosaurus was a plant eater or an herbivore. The name Hadrosaurus means sturdy lizard. It was the first dinosaur to have its skeleton mounted in a museum. Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early part of the Cretaceous time period. Iguanodon had a beak for cropping plants walked slowly on four legs or quickly on two legs and its hands could be used for walking, grasping, and perhaps even piercing. One of the first dinosaurs discovered, Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early part. Iguanodon was a large plant-eating dinosaur. Iguanodon hands were like tools, the middle three fingers used for support, the long and slender pinky probably for grasping items, the thumb was like a spike for fighting or gathering food. One of the first dinosaurs discovered, Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early... Other crested hadrosaurs like Corythosaurus and Parasaurolophus. Jaxartosaurus was a duck billed hadrosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Jaxartosaurus is close. Like other hadrosaurs, Jaxartosaurus ate plants.
Jaxartosaurus had a big helmet-like crest that was probably used for showing off, making noise, and recognizing members of its own kind. The small armored stegosaur dinosaur from the late Jurassic time period. Pentrosaurus differs from Stegosaurus in having more spikes and fewer plates. These spikes started about midway down the back and extended the length of the tail. They also had shoulder spikes. Kentrosaurus was a Kentrosaurus was a slow-moving plant eater that was found in Africa. Kentrosaurus had a tiny brain, one of the smallest known for a dinosaur. The plates of Kentrosaurus were too small to be used for controlling body temperature. They were most likely used for display. The tail spikes could have been used as weapons against predators. Dinosaur from the early Jurassic time period. It was named after the country Lesotho in South Africa, where the first fossil remains were found. Like many other plant-eating dinosaurs, Lesothosaurus had a beak in the front of its mouth and back teeth that were used to slice up plants. Lesothosaurus had small serrated and pointed front teeth along the jaw that looked like arrowheads and were well suited for chewing plants. Its head was small with large eye sockets. Dinosaur named the Good Mother because some paleontologists think it looked after its babies after they hatched. Scientists have discovered bones of juvenile and adult Myasaura together in the same site. This suggests they traveled in herds to protect their young and nested in colonies. Myasaura was a Myasaura was a large plant-eating dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous time period. Unlike the large hollow crests of Corythosaurus, Lambiosaurus, and Parasaurolophus, Myasaura had a small solid crest that was not used for hooting. dinosaur or ankylosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means knobbed lizard. Nodosaurus grew to be about 20 feet long. Like other ankylosaurs, it was covered in bony armor from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail. Nodosaurus was, a Nodosaurus was a herbivore, eating plants that grew close to the ground. Nodosaurus moved around slowly on four legs. Unable to run away from predators, it probably used its bony armor for protection. Dig burrows for protection and care for their young. Burrowing allowed these dinosaurs to live in areas with extreme weather conditions. Orichodromius had a number of features that made it well suited for digging, including a snout for shoveling, strong arms for digging, and sturdy hip bones to brace it while digging. Orichodromius, Orichodromius was a fast-running herbivore.
Orictodromius was a bipedal herbivore that lived in the Cretaceous time period. Scientists discovered this dinosaur in a burrow, which was something never before associated with dinosaurs. Bills, with a large elaborate crest on its head that functioned as a visual recognition of its species. Scientists think that Parasaurolophus might have used its crest to communicate over long distances, as well as locate other group members, including their young, and warning the group of predators. Parasaurolophus is one of Parasaurolophus was a plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur that lived in western North America during the late Cretaceous. With its narrow beak, Parasaurolophus was probably a selective grazer, able to pick up and choose the plant parts it wanted to eat. Some of these plants might have included pine needles, twigs, and leaves. Pontosaurus is a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Australia during the Cretaceous time period. About six feet long and three feet high. Pontosaurus is a two-legged... Quantosaurus was a plant eater, or herbivore. Living close to the South Pole, the large eyes of the Quantosaurus may have helped this herbivore see better during months of darkness each winter. Dodon was a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Europe during the Cretaceous time period. Rhabdodon was similar to a modern-day deer in size. Rhabdodon was a Rhabdodon was a plant-eater or herbivore. Rhabdodon belongs to the same group of dinosaurs as Iguanodon and the duck-billed Corythosaurus. Stygimolic had a super thick skull. Some scientists think that this animal used its head to bump the sides of other Stygimolic. Stygimolic has an unusual set of horns and spikes on its head. Short little horns covered the nose, and enormous backward-pointing spikes grew out of the back of its skull. Stygimolic. Although the horns of the Stygimolic looked fierce, they were most likely used as a way to intimidate other members of the group. Troodon was a small bipedal dinosaur with a big brain, which probably made it one of the smartest dinosaurs around. Troodon lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Discovered as far as the North Pole, scientists believe they lived in cooler, darker climates and were covered in feathers. Unlike most... Troodon, unlike most dinosaurs feeding on either plants or meat, Troodon was most likely an omnivore, eating both plants and meat. Being an omnivore means it was easy. Troodon eye sockets are extremely large, which is characteristic of nocturnal animals, those that see and hunt in the dark. Troodon eyes were forward-facing, which meant they could see things far away. 
helicopter was a fast-running theropod that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Although no feathers have been found with fossils of Utahraptor, we know that many of its close relatives in Asia had feathers. So, Utahraptor was probably feathered as well. Utahraptor. With its long running legs and a huge claw on each foot, Utah Raptor would have been an excellent predator. Utah Raptor was a fast. Utah Raptor grew to over 30 feet long. Utah Raptor was a fast-running theropod that lived in North America. Raptor is a small feathered dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous. It's only been found in Asia and lived in a desert habitat with sand dunes. Velociraptor was a theropod in Central Asia and lived during the latter part of the Cretaceous time period. It was about the size of a turkey with a very long tail and known for being very fast. Velociraptor, Velociraptor is derived from the Latin words for quick and robber. It was given this name by scientists because it was a very fast carnivore. Velociraptor was a bipedal feathered dinosaur that shared many of the same features as modern birds. It's most known for its long tail and large claws that stuck out from the back of each hind leg. Saurus was a pachycephalosaur dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Like many kinds of dinosaurs, Onanosaurus is known from only one incomplete skeleton. To rebuild the whole skeleton, one paleontologist had to look at the bones of close pachycephalosaur relatives. One on a one onosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. One onosaurus grew to be just over three feet long, which makes it one of the smallest dinosaur herbivores known. Arsosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in South America during the Cretaceous time period. Xenotarsosaurus had four fingered hands and three toed feet. Although small for a theropod dinosaur, Xenotarsosaurus was an effective predator. Xenotarsosaurus probably hunted small dinosaurs and other small animals. The name Xenotarsosaurus means strange ankle lizard because its ankle bones are different from most theropods. Twanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia. With plenty of sharp teeth in their jaws, they would have been amazing predators. Some Yang Twanosaurus grew to be over 30 feet long. Yang Chuanosaurus probably hunted plant eating dinosaurs like stegosaurs and young sauropods. Yang Chuanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Jurassic time period. Like its close cousin Quetzalcoatlus, Zhejiangopterus was a giant flying reptile or pterosaur. 
Zhejiang Opterus was a type of large pterosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. Its fossils have been found throughout Asia and have been greatly preserved. Like other pterosaurs, Zhejiang Opterus dove into the water and caught fish. While they were larger than other pterosaurs, Zhejiang Opterus had similar bone structure, just with longer necks and heads. Unlike other pterosaurs, like its close cousin Quetzalcoatlus, Zhejiang Opterus was a giant fly. Unlike other pterosaurs, Zhejiang Opterus did not have a crest or upright bone structure on the back of its head. It was larger than most pterosaurs, with a wingspan of over 16 feet wide.